hand together for Elspeth King. Hello and thanks. I've been here so often, so many times. Um, the first time they tried to close the Winter Gardens was in 1966, so we've been fighting for it for about the last 55 years, and they never seem to let up. But we can't stop, we can't let it happen. It's shameful that in this year of COP26, a facility such as the Winter Gardens remains closed. And I was thinking about community asset transfer, CAT. It's to me like council assisted theft. That's what it is. It's a privatisation initiative that Margaret Thatcher would have been proud of. And this great fire sale of all the facilities is scandalous. Scandalous that they're selling off Leatherhill Golf Course for less than the price of a house and to the Royal and Ancient for that. Who voted for that? Who wants that? That's not what we want. It's not our policies. They're saying that Glasgow life as a business model is no longer sustainable. And I think it's literally sucking the life out of the museums and libraries, out of the sports facilities. It's becoming really predatory and I think we need to get it, put a stake through its heart, kill it dead and get it deep buried so it doesn't come back to keep biting us in this fashion. It's really great that you've all turned out here today in support of our facilities because as I say it's, it's our life they call it assets. It's time we gave up this neoliberal trash talk. It's our lives that we're playing with.